Armed with a fishing pole, a camera, and a love of the outdoors, Mike Connolly can often be found paddling in a canoe or sitting before a campfire. The fish he catches can feed his family for a day, but the photos he takes and the pictures he paints can feed the hearts of his fans for a lifetime. Connolly works from his home near Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I don't know, I just got this little cubby hole in the basement and it's kind of fun to come down and just escape and paint for a while. And... He gained a love of the outdoors from his father. That love is apparent in his many photos and paintings. Connolly began painting at about the age of 16. I don't know, I just started doing it one rainy afternoon with some watercolors that uh, my dad had laying around. And just kind of got lost in it and looked up in three or four hours and had gone by and it just seemed like it was 15 minutes so. Really do a lot of traditional stuff, paint mostly in oils. Started out in acrylics. First time I painted in oils I threw away the acrylics after that. They look visually, they look the same. I mean there's not a difference in the quality of the paint but um, I guess my technique is very slow and acrylics dried so fast, I wound up throwing away so many brushes because the paint would dry right in a brush, you know, whereas oils. And I, I like the smell of oils too, it's just kind of kind of a silly little thing, I guess, but I just like the, I like the smell of the turpentine and of the, of the uh, linseed oil and the oil in the paint, and it's just, I guess, part of it all, so. Photography entered his life sometime later, but his experience with each complements the other. You use one, to help you see with the other, but they're really two totally different animals. Connolly's photos have been published in Better Homes and Gardens, Canoe and Kayak, National Wildlife, Sierra, Garden Guide, and numerous smaller publications. For Connolly, painting and photography are not interchangeable. Each allows the artist a different approach to a scene. Sometimes with a, a photograph you can get uh, too detailed you can make it almost painful clarity. Whereas with a painting, you can soften it up and, and just make it a little bit, uh, well, I guess a little bit easier on the eyes, I guess. I actually think, I think art is a lot easier than photography because as an artist, you can put in or leave out whatever you want. But as a photographer, you know, you're, you're stuck with what's there. The key to doing a good painting is preparation. The thing that I learned from my, my art teacher, Hugh, was, was to take a painting and block everything in, uh, just very rough, which is what, what this one is here. This is just a very rough blocking in. And I'm just now adding a few leaves and a few details. But that way you can tell if, you're, if your colors work right next to each other, if the objects are composed right, what should be sharp, what should be loose. You just take a big old brush about that wide and you start mixing colors and filling it up. It helps you see it a lot better. And I always sketch it out ahead of time. I always have the composition the way I want to see it. And that's all sketched on there. Painting and photography are art forms that are open to everyone. A lot of people look at art and photography and they say, I could never do that. I, could, I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Well, I can't either. You know, but it's not about drawing straight lines. And photography-wise, you get a few pictures back. If I get one or two back out of 36 that I really like a lot, I feel real happy. I don't really think there are any good photographers. I think there's only good editors. I think if people try it and not be judgmental with themselves about what their first ones look like, my first ones were just awful. <laughs> I get them now that are just awful, but I don't, I don't show those. I, I, I put them down there. You know, it is a learning experience that really should be fun. Um, and that's why you're doing it. It's not, you're not doing it to impress people by your style. You're doing it because you're expressing something in a picture that means something to you, something that you found beauty in, or something that, uh, some element of your life that that, is, uh, that you think is worth expressing. Connolly's photos can be seen at his website, connollyphoto.com.